everybody my name is farmer phil and today we are going with brother out to do a bit of topping and the reason bro is with me not only to fly the drone but to do the q a video so we're doing two at once so the whole idea is that i might be able to get ahead of myself again with videos and have a bit of comfort and not to be worrying so much about what i'm going to be filming but anyway never mind that so we're heading off we're in the 6290 front suspension and our John Deere 10 foot more and we're going to go topping out farm bro is also going to do some topping so I can show him how to do it so that the kind of hope is that he be, might be able to go do some of the topping for us because we're really getting we have quite a lot of topping though we're just not getting enough time to get all done and I'll show you why topping is quite essential when you're running or for grass efficiency and keeping the best grass possible in front of the cattle will also hopefully be later on today topping with the 35x and some of the paddocks at home where we can't use the disc more and bro is trying to hold this camera and it's doing everything but staying still but anyways we'll be on in the road we'll have a look at what we're about to top and um talk you know the usual kind of a video and um, we'll also ask bro a few questions and get him topping anyways we'll be on in the road My bro is just opening up the wires there, out there, yeah. So we're going to be topping out there, which we just took the, that's in two paddocks and we took the bulls off it this morning. And they're out hunting there. The bulls are actually, they're lying, I think they're actually all lying down there, are they? Yeah. So you can see the bulls out there, they're lying down with their bellies full after getting a fresh move. And then we're also topping the upper part of that paddock, which is kind of a field and a half. So bro is confused now, me pointing. But anyways, we're going to start off with topping this one. I'm going to top this one to show me, brother, how it works. Come on in. So I'm going to be topping this one first to show me, brother, how topping works. You know, there's not a lot to it, but it's more so just keeping an eye out. That hand, I know that there's uh, around the trees, there's stones the bulls take out. There's a few little things to just watch out for. That's why I do this one, whereas the other ones, we've mowed them tight before, so it should be safe enough for bro to do them. Without any problem. Yeah, safe enough. Safe enough. Can never be safe enough. But anyways, so we'll just go out here and um, we'll get going. Oh. We'll just get out now. We'll have a look at what we're going to do. So I'll open it up there. So the bulls, the bulls come off this two days ago. So they're getting about two days on a paddock before they have to move. They can see these. We call them tronyines. It's just the seed heads of the grass. And the cattle, the bulls aren't too bad. The bulls will eat them fairly good, but the other cattle, the calves won't. The calves, I'll show you when we go top of the 35X, you'll see what the calves will do. But all I want to do is just cut all these seed heads, cut them bits of dockins that's there and thistles. It's not too bad with them. And just cut all them bits of high grass where there's dung pots. That's usually all them lush areas is where there's dung pats and the cattle don't eat around them and they will be going out there which is very bad with thistles and dockins that badly wants to be topped and yeah the reason the reason for topping is to cut them seed head so that it makes the grass regrow you can see like two days off it, you can see the the sprags there starting to come back and it's to get it to come back evenly come back real nice anyways there's two products to do here we get started we brought up the drone to do a bit on this field and then we'll go into that one and we'll teach bro how to top and it'll be the first time he'll be like mowing top and it's kind of all the one we don't actually have a actual like topper like one with the, the like a flail head or anything like that all we have is the disc mowers uh, it's all we've ever had just because we have them we use them but the downside to that is with a lot of our land being stony and not exactly safe for topping my uncle, if he ever went topping, he always come back with the mower broke. Wait, that's really? one, yeah. That's oh one of the reasons God. we bought the finger bar mower so we could top the paddocks that weren't safe, that you just couldn't risk topping. That we can top them relatively easy, relatively safely because there's not as much that can go wrong. If it did go wrong, it's not as expensive. But we've always topped the disc mowers. Anyways, we'll get topping, and we'll do a few rounds and then brawl stick up the drone. Hi. 
keeping the flaps up. Yeah. So we, because we're topping, we don't need to run the more flat out. So we're top weight at 17 or 1800 revs. We'll do a lovely job. So away we go. You call that now. Just because of how we're, we're topping, I don't. I'm not going to be topping tight. Just just for safety, and it's just not just in case there's anything there. So we'll set the mower up. Just running, not too tight. Look behind me, bro. Not too tight to the ground. And um, yeah, we're going to knock a lock of these tronions off and just tidy up the paddock. So we have the first paddock done and we just have to tip back out to the house for something. And I'm just driving by the front field and this out farm. I topped this, oh Christ, two weeks ago, not even two weeks ago, with the 3690 and this John Deere Moore. And you can see there yourself, it has come back a holy terrace, lovely and even and clean. And it's a great job, a fantastic job. That's 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 what what we're after topping in there looked like in a week or two. It looked like that. Lovely, even, just lovely, fresh, sweet grass, the perfect stuff for feeding cattle. So now we're just back in. So this is what I'm after doing here. So some of just the pointers one of the problems with using the disc more is setting your height for topping and um, because we're a proper topper you have like skids and you can adjust it very handy with the more you're carrying a honda ram and with this because if there was a, a thing on it or if it started to regrow i didn't want to cut the fresh regrowth so i had to keep it up above it the paddock we're doing now which is the paddock they come off this morning i'm going to skin this tight or pre it's t fairly tight now i might keep it up just a little bit because you can see a couple of them little boys there might take the edge off the knives but um we'll do a, a very much a skinning on that and um see how it goes and then we'll go do the other one and we'll show bro how to do it and i'll finish off the other video but anyways we get topping that's what the job lovely tidy job we get that done and both of these paddocks will come back like the one that i showed you just the last clip in the front of the house there yeah. come back lovely in evening and nice lush grass Paddock or topping that paddock, and I know, yeah, there's not a lot on it, but that's just left it lovely. Now that will come back absolutely smashing. So I, I don't think I've really explained why. The reason we top is like I was showing you earlier: the tronions, the the seed head, the the stemmy bit with the seed head on the grass. Now, from what I've done so far, it's not. There's not. Look, there's not a whole lot on it. If it was let go, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But when I, later on in the video, when I get to topping with the 35 and the finger bar on the calf paddocks, that'll, I, that'll show you the extreme end of it. But when the grass puts its head up, when it throws out that tronion, that's it. The grass is, is pretty much finished growing. It'll grow that seed head, die off, and stop producing grass. But when you cut that, or the cattle, Raise that bit of the, the stem when they take when that stem gets broken that grass plant has no more heads it's like oh i have to start growing heads again so then it starts to cycle again and throwing out all its leaves and then growing into another seed head 
and when you go and you top a field that's the same as resetting the field it's like it's like hitting the reset button on whatever it's it's like right start again and all the plants start all the grass plants start coming evenly again and you cut all them seed heads off you leave it all them plants with the seed heads that's it they don't they don't grow they just stop and then that was eaten then that grows and you kind of do yourself out of grass by not topping as every time they graze there'll be more and more seed heads left as it's the least palatable part of the crop and it's the part the cattle are less likely to eat you sitting down there bro yeah the cattle the cattle love the leafy sweet grass that fresh leaf that comes up but the stout stemmy stuff that's not that's not their favorite so they leave it and you can't blame them it's like if you're given the option of um you know, if you your favorite food and your your least favorite food. Yeah, so it's like having a dinner plate and there's what you want on it, what you don't really want on it. You're gonna eat what you want and you might need what you don't want. You know, it's the same same as that. But when you top it, it's like in the reset button on the field, and that field will come back fierce strong and just fly it. Anyways, we're just heading over. I think we're going to top gate not to go through the bulls. I don't want to disturb them. That's why we top, and it's really for grass efficiency. The whole aim of the game is grass, you just grass. When you're in, it doesn't really matter what end of cattle you're in or livestock, grass is number one on your list. If you can keep the good, sweet, high quality, high palatability, high digestibility grass in front of your cattle, your cattle will do better. And it's, it's like the dairy man. When, I remember when I was going to college, it was really just the start of them pushing the beef farmer to be like the dairy farmer. And the, the dairy man doesn't do all these paddocks and manage his grass in, into a fine art just for the fun of it. He does it because it's the best way of getting your cattle to perform. And that's where a lot of beef men um, fall short is in grass. But for us, that's something we're trying to get better and better and better at because every kilo of flesh we can get on the cattle on grass is a kilo less we don't have to put on in the shed with meal and at the end of the day every kilo that gets put on with grass is a cheap kilo achieved and that's 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 the aim of the game it's just grass and managing it to the highest effectiveness possible and we'll talk a bit more about our fertilizer and that on the grass when we finish topping this field in here and we get brosa up and see how he do he goes anyways we'll leave it at that and we get brought so this is the next field that we're topping you can see it's quite bad with thistles you can see all the trunnions in it all that stemmy grass and i want to clean that but i don't want to cut any of the good grass the grass that i want so we're going to be topping it very fairly high now the bulls are out there at the minute they've one more paddock to go to and then they're coming out here so they'll be out here in about five ish days and they'll they once something that we actually find them actually one of the dairy farmers we do work for he mows the paddocks ahead of his cows at this time of the year and the cows absolutely eat everything and that's something the cat them cattle will eat all them tronions when they're cut the one thing you want to make sure when you are topping and you do do that is you have no bits of ragwort or boulons in it because they're poisonous to the cattle and the cattle won't eat when it's standing but when you knock cut it and it dries a bit they'll eat it not good for them but anyways um, so we're going to keep the moor up high and we're going to great, cut off all them tronies, cut all them thistles down. Now the thistles aren't sprayed, my father was to get to it and get to it and get to it, but the way the weather's gone, the weather just isn't in it to get done this time. But when the thistles come back and they regrow half the bean top, well hopefully if the weather picks up we'll hit them then. So bro is very eager now to get more topping. So anyways, we'll get topping, but that's, that's that. And we're just moving a few sticks in. And as you've seen in the drone footage, the bulls are quite bad for digging holes and pawing up the face and pulling stuff out the backs of the hedges and around the trees and it always just leaves the ground. That's why some of it wasn't topped around the trees because there's a pile of stones that they pulled out from the belt of the trees. They pulled out sticks in this field and they're, it's actually the worst year we've seen so far from doing a lot of pawing and that, a lot of pawing. Um, with that but anyways we'll get going i'll do the first round of the field just to we'll not mark it out for bro and then we'll let him at it so okay bro yeah so we'll go get the outside round done and then let him at it so now bro's turn to learn so pto's been in there bro so rev it up i have the 
no preset, so rev it up to about 1700, 1800. Nice and smoothly, no jerk in it because he overrun on the PTO. Yep, all that now. First gear. Right. Now, see this one? Yeah. Pull that, lifts it, push it, lets it down. So right. if you see a sticker end, pull, pull it to you, stone end, pull it to you yeah, to yeah. lift it up. Yeah. Okay, you can put it forward, nice and handy off the clutch now. Nice and handy. There you go. So now you can see the two tracks there. Yeah. And just, you need to keep over to one side a bit just to get them caught ever. Yeah. You know how to go faster or go slower, so. Might so. just take it easy for the first Yeah, round. no, that's fine. Take it, you better take your time and, and make sure everything's okay then go fast and, and break something. So. That's bro, top of the way now, there's literally nothing else to it. Um, now bro, around this corner you need to stay out. out. So you, you out, now start turning. And watch, you don't turn too tight. Turn more, see the way your shaft comes in? You feel the tractor, you feel the rattling. That's you turning a little bit too sharp. So that's one thing with this mower, you can't turn too hard. So you just gotta watch out for that. Yeah. But other than that, that's really it. There's not much else to it. Just hearing a noise and hearing a constant clang, 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 clang is a bad sign because it could be damaged to the bed. See that stick lifted? Right, Put it down slowly, about there, that's okay. That's ground, bro, that's ground, box. Yeah. You have a lot to watch, don't you? Yeah. Not as easy as it looks, is it? How keep, about? Keep back a bit, keep out, keep out. Because the way the mower follows you around, and now turn. coming up here now. Yeah. So lift it. And down again. Yeah, that'll do. That's it. So we'll stop this one and I'll let him do a few more rounds so he's comfortable and then we'll start asking him a few questions for the other video. So we're finished topping in here now. That's what bro did. He didn't do too bad a job now at all. Except for while he was on, while I was asking him questions, he, he had a few mohawks here and there, but ah, can't really blame him. I had him under pressure with some of the questions. But anyways, no, he did a, a good job. That that now, by the four days it'll take for the cattle to come back, that should have come up fierce well. Them thistles should have started that. To, to go away at themselves and it should should be a good job now should be a good job but um anyways yeah so i just want to talk a bit about our um fertilizer and grass management just on on the way out so with all the paddock and ground we would have went quite strong in the spring with slurry and dung and or dung on nearly all our paddock and ground and then we blanket spread all the paddock and ground with can in oh when was that? it must have, must have been march i think it was in february it was very wet i think it was around the end of march we got all done and we're only after blanket spreading all our paddock and ground again we can we wouldn't really only in that odd occasion where we'd be running a bit tight on grass on a farm would we start top dressing after cattle had eaten a paddock and um, we don't generally do that but we went and we blanket spread everything there it was actually this week on bar or last week blanket spread all the paddock ground again whether it be strong whether it was just after being eaten put all just to give the whole lot a bit of a oh, open the door my brother and uh, give them all a bit of an energy Water. shot yeah. give them all a bit of an energy shot keep it growing and then we every now and again we'll pick out we might pick out a load of slurry a dribble a load of slurry on a paddock or that especially after the calves keep nice good real real good sweet grass coming behind them well fed grass but that's really it with fertilizer we wouldn't wouldn't use a whole pile of fertilizer we try not to anyways we try and use as much slurry and dung as possible to keep the fertilizer bill down because uh, it's just another expense but yeah 
just just really when it comes to that top and then and keeping the cattle moving just keeping the cattle moving and trying not to let it get too strong easy done on every other farm bar or the home farm because we just can't mow the paddocks and i'm just showing you when it goes wrong how wrong it goes when we go home but anyways we'll go home now we'll have the tea charge up down gopro and drone and we'll go get the finger bar more under 35x and i'll show you what hardship is